In summer, we all want to feel fresh, carefree, and when we're having a date in summer, in addition to that, we want to feel sexy and confident, especially if your date and love life was on hold. The best date summer fragrances for women are slightly less formal than autumn or winter. With an easy breezy sensibility like a free, carefree run along a sun-soaked beach with salty bronze skin, I rounded up fragrances that are worthy of your summer love adventure. I begin with the Gucci Guilty. Um, I think the bottle is very is a stunning. Mm -hmm. Very nice bottle and it's a very sexy, glamorous scent which suits a confident woman. It's sweet, spicy, expansive smelling. I think it's a very typical date, evening, night scent. In my opinion, this is very beautiful floral fragrance with a lot of class. It's not gourmand despite the fruit notes. Instead, it's an excellent blend of fruit, flowers and um, musk, which is not prominent here at all. I feel also amber, patchouli and vanilla. It's a very soft, sweet perfume, almost a little bit um, powdery. Um, it's very clean fragrance. Um, this has the cleanest patchouli I've ever smelled. It's almost non-existent. I find it perfect to wear to a nice restaurant or bar or evening out. I think this perfume is very good value for money and I have received lots of compliments from both men and women. I'm not a huge fan of this perfume, but my friends are. Um, I would only wear it going out to dinner or drinks personally and when I'm glammed up, totally glammed up. Um, at the time when I bought this, it was totally overhyped and um, Unfortunately, I wear it from time to time and there is no strong connection between us, but the scent itself is very um, nice. So the second one is um, Decadence by uh, Mark Jacobs. Uh, I must say that this is my absolutely one of the my uh, favorite fragrance. I think that um, this is very rich, very seductive, um, womanly, glamorous, um, warm, romantic scent. It's really luxurious scent. It's like a um, for strong, classy, glamorous woman. And I think the bottle is really stunning. Um, very nice bottle and um, I think um, the woman who wears it is very independent, enjoys her life, very glamorous and knows her own mind. Um, Decadence has a rich sweet amber and plum uh, notes. I um, also feel vetiver here. The result is very well balanced, uplifting, very pleasant, uh, with a little bit of floral blend um, and I must say, I love this scent. I totally love it. I think this is for strong women with personality, really feminine and sexy. Um, it's not like all that commercial perfumes that we see nowadays. It's a mistress and elegant, um, very classy. Um, I like the design of the bottle, as I said. And uh, after I got this bottle, I uh, bought myself um, um, a purse or a handbag that looks almost exactly like this and I like to wear it with a black or deep purple cocktail dress. Um, I think it's very unusual, unique blend, very unique scent and definitely a head turner. Um, very rich, deep, sensual and very mysterious. So the third one is Ajmal Raindrops. The, um, the bottle is very... Mm -hmm. uh, the bottle is very simple, um, but it's a very nice, classy fragrance, very long-lasting, very complex. It's a perfect scent for smelling rich. Um, 
I got uh, now I, um, I feel a little bit of scent of like a fresh cleaner but it's only at the beginning um, I, I adore this fragrance it smells so sexy feminine it works both the daytime or nighttime uh, the longevity is am uh, amazing after just one spray um, it will last the entire evening or entire night truly feminine always beautiful smells very romantic smells like a dream girl um, the fragrance feels um, very airy, elegant, energizing, clean, mm, floral, very feminine, uh, very high quality, also intense a little bit. It's a very long lasting, uh, mature, but at the same time modern and, and, and classy, I would say. Um, it's a very rich, romantic, seductive, sophisticated and a very, very pleasant scent. I could imagine wearing this to a nice dinner or to the opera if we ever get to do those things again but um, it has some classic vibe that's for sure um, i will also wear it um, just at home for um, cozy and um, you know calming uh, evenings it's very elegant um, easy but in a very inoffensive way um, uh, i think it's very uplifting and smells expensive and elegant and i don't think you need to be a, in a certain mood to put this perfume on which is perfect for romantic dates and special occasions it's a huge compliment getter thanks to its uh, wonderful silage um, so the next one is valentino i got a sample this is valentino voce vita yes um i was very interesting how it smells uh, it's um it's a floral um floral woody musk fragrance <laughs> i got like instant happiness uh, the orange uh, and bergamot are such a bright opening or make such a bright opening it's a sophisticated it's a very long lasting very likable sweet white floral scent um, the texture is very soft, uh, powdery, um, the projection is impressive. This, uh, the, the fragrance used to, I don't know, all ages. It's a really great, pretty, sexy scent. It's not too heavy, not too light. Um, it has a very decent lasting power, in my opinion. Um, perfect to go out, have fun with the friends and... Um, Dancing until dawns, and uh, I think this one is typical uh, crowd pleaser. Um, I received a sample of this uh, fragrance like a week ago, and um, I gave it a test over a couple days. It's a very nice scent. The dry down um, comes around half an hour later, and on my skin it's unfortunately a little bit strange. I mean the dry down itself. Um, it has a little bit plasticky musky scent, but sometimes it happens on my skin. Um, it's a, it has very good performance. It's a very nice scent, but be careful with the musk. If you know that musk will not work on your skin, um, you have to try it. Don't um, blind buy it. It's not a safe blind, blind buy. You have to try it. And um, I, I'm not sure that I will purchase the, the whole bottle, but the scent itself is very, very nice. Um, so the next one is Just Her by Roberto Cavalli. Um, it's a... It's a very um, fruity, floral scent dedicated to young, free-spirited women. The fragrance is optimistic and very vibrant. Um, it's so intoxicating and it's so beautiful. Um, it's sweet and fruity with a spice and it's, uh, it's not powdery. The combination of vanilla and coffee, it's just die for. Um, I got a lot of compliments on this one, but it, it has heavy silage and excellent lo longevity on my skin. I can't even give, forgive the, um, the strange, awkward and not very beautiful bottle. 
<laughs> the fragrance is that beautiful. Um, as I already mentioned, summer is a difficult season when it comes to pick a perfume, especially for special night and special occasions. It can be too heavy um, and it will bring everybody uh, a headache, but it can be too fruity. Um, so I believe this perfume is perfect for every special summer night or special occasion. It's feminine, sexy and flirty. The fragrance feels rich, romantic, seductive, sophisticated, sweet and very, very pleasant. The next one, the next one is Roberto Cavalli Paradiso Azzurro. This is a flanker of Paradiso and I have original one as well. Um, ah, nice. I have to say that I've received a crazy, just crazy amount of compliments on this. I don't know what it's all about, but this one <laughs> it's just a compliment bomb, I think. Um, people absolutely love it. I haven't received this many compliments in a very long time and I don't even know how to react because it's far from my favorite perfume. I like it, but not uh, love. Um, it lasts on my skin for ages, even after a shower, I can sometimes still smell it. A very strong scent, which I think it um, is the best for nighttime. Um, very pleasant, it's a little bit sweeter and fruitier version of the original fragrance, feels great on summer, especially some uh, hot summer days. It's a less masculine than the original one, the Paradiso one. Uh, it's not must-have, but I'm very happy I got it. It reminds me a beach days which um, when, when oil, water and sun mix together on the skin and there is an atmosphere of vacation and inspiration in summer. Uh, you know, and um, something relaxing and energizing at the same time in this perfume. I highly recommend it just to try it. Very, very nice. The next one is Val uh, Giorgio Armani, uh, My Way. I caught the sample and I'm very happy I had a chance to test it. Um... This mm -hmm. oh, wow. um, top notes are orange blossom, bergamot, middle notes are tuberose and Indian jasmine, base notes are white musk, Madagascar vanilla and virgin cera. I was instantly in attracted to this perfume. Um, this is <sighs> This is strong. Oh man, this is strong. Two sprays and that's it. It's sweet, floral and with a little bit of citrusy. Um, I think this perfume comes across a lot more youthful than I thought it would. I can see why this is a crowd pleaser. Um, the white flowers are very prominent here and the scent is bright and bubbly. It reminds me slightly of citrus or tuberose bubblegum. I don't know if anything of this exists. Um, but I was um, expecting a little bit more of white floral and a little, bas a little bit less of tuberose. The scent is quite linear. Um, unfortunately, I never got the vanilla and cedar notes. It's summer's uh, scent. Reminds me um, of summer walks by the beach. Uh, it would make a lovely bridal perfume too. It's suitable for an evening for going out, for drinks with friends and um, unfortunately after two hours I had a little bit of he headache. The tuberose bomb in the opening didn't, um, didn't get subside or didn't get lower. It continued to be very, I would say, extremely loud. This fragrance is linear. The tuberose um, note is very strong and makes progression it becomes overwhelming um, if you're a true tuberose lover and um, then it suits you other way you have to try it before buying it 
and um, this scent has an um, it has an enormous silage. Um, the bottle I find the bottle um, very nice, simple but kind of suits the the perfume and. Um, I must say that I probably enjoy this scent on the others than on myself. I just um, cannot imagine the scent following me everywhere. It's very beautiful, but it's, as I said, a little bit too loud for me. And uh, as I said, it's not a safe bl a blind buy. If, if you like the scent in the store, I, I encourage you to wear it um, for a day before you purchase it and before you make the decision to purchase it. Um, the next one, I also have a sample. I have a sample, it's a La Vie est Belle. Um, I never had a full bottle of La Vie est Belle because uh, I have the feeling that it doesn't matter what I buy, I always get a, a sample of La Vie est Belle. Um, I have a full sample here, almost full. And I even didn't have a chance to open this sample. Um, hold on just one second, I will try to open it very carefully. So, and this one. Yeah. I got the sample every time when I uh, when I order something, every time, and I have the feeling the marketing campaign here. Mm -hmm. um, so I have the feeling that the marketing campaign here is so strong that um, you can be easily a victim. So I keep resisting and. Um, and I keep promising myself that probably one day when I will not get any sample at all, I will buy the whole bottle of it. Um, I think that YouTube make me thought to and consider buying the whole bottle, but um, I don't know. It's just it's not for me. It's a good. It has the scent has a good projection and silage. I get black currant, iris, jasmine. Um, it's a pleasant scent. Uh, I get tonka beans, praline, and um, it's pleasantly sweet, fruity gourmand. But uh, it's not particularly striking. Um, it lasts as good like six seven hours, which is impressive since my skin tends to absorb most fragrances. It's super sexy. Yes, um, it's very loud. This um, it's not perfume for the office. I would say it's for cocktails, date night, clubbing, wedding, etc. The initial spray is um, sweet and can feel overwhelming. Um, and after t uh, after 20 minutes it settles down and um, the dry down is very pleasant, lasts really well and I, I can understand why it's like, um, like a crowd pleaser, why almost every second one has it. It's very sweet, feminine, very romantic, welcoming, very welcoming scent. Um, it's a slightly comforting and I think it's because of the iris note um, that is not very prominent in my opinion. Also the longevity and silage are enormous. I can smell the, the vanilla, praline, um, a little bit here, a little bit there and um, I, overall I like it but um, not too much to buy the whole bottle and maybe one day um, I will buy it but for now it's not my priority. It's nice sense but I need a little bit more time just to make my decision. Yeah, so the next one, the next one is Boss. The scent for her. I have this small bottle. Um, I keep the scent, the, 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 the uh, fragrance in the, in the bathroom and it got a little bit rusty and I highly, highly recommend never ever keep your fragrance in bathroom, ever, even on the shelf, in the, even on the kind of like um, 
wardrobe or uh, with a closed door. Never. It just never happened. This kind of ruins the perfume and uh, scent and it's a very, very sad um, situation. Yeah, um, wow. It's very fresh, very light. Um, I feel immediately peach smell and a little bit cacao in the background. I also smell something else, but I'm not sure what it is. But the peach note, I know not as immediately. It lasts a um, good six, eight hours. Um, it was my love at the first, at first sniff. To me, it smells powdery, fruity, a bit floral. I test perfume on my clothes and uh, this lasted a really long time. I absolutely recommend it. It's suitable all year and also um, tolerable, very tolerable with people who doesn't like fragrances. It's a little bit oily, airy. Um, that is a good thing, probably suitable for everyone or for any reason. Um, and... Um, I think Hugo Boss fragrances overall either a uh, hit or a miss. Some of their more recent releases have been uh, absolutely um, mm, yeah, <laughs> not bad. Um, but uh, this scent is definitely one of their better fragrances in regards to both scent and uh, the presentation as well. It's sure um, it will appeals to it will appeal to uh, many female consumers and it will suit both young, very young lady and uh, a little bit oldish lady. Um, it's very suited to, for summer hot weather, perfect for gourmand lovers and uh, who want something, for people who want something light, left refreshing, but um, still want to keep things a little bit sweet. It's a very pretty, beautiful, peachy, floral perfume for the most, um, yeah, adorable price as well. The price is very nice as well. It's a feminine uh, sense uh, that has a very, very good uh, silage. Um, so if boss scent, is a very light for you, then I recommend you a boss. Um, the scent Private Accord for Her by Hugo Boss as well, which is an um, amber vanilla fragrance for women. Um, it's a little bit heavier and sweeter. And I, um, I would wear it for fall, winter, but if you want for your date something a little bit heavier than the scent, you can wear it this one as well. Um, so the notes are amber, vanilla, uh, mandarin, uh, coffee, osmanthus, cacao, tonka bean, uh, bean, beans, uh, tonka bean, I'm sorry. Um, it's a fantastic fragrance. You can smell dark, cho dark chocolate mandarin, um, but in, not in a very sweet way. It has a strong pro projection. I feel very confident and sexy. I would say this is the safe blind buy for someone who appreciates unique scents and uh, who likes gourmand scents. Um, this is just gorgeous. After a few hours, I can still smell the orange on my skin, not just the cacao, I think. The osmanthus and coffee also pull through quite nicely. I have the original, so the, the scent one, and um, I think this one is deeper and more comforting for me. It's very soft, seductive. Um, this is my kind of favorite, kind. this type of perfumes or scents and fragrances are my favorite one. I just love it. The longevity and silage could be improved a bit. I only get like five hours. Um, yeah, I wear this in fall and winter time, but if you like the, the original scent, then this will work um, for you as well. Um, so that's it for today, and thank you very much for visiting my, my page and watching the video. I wish you memorable nights out, romantic dinners, and evening full of love and passion. Please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. Bye.